In this lesson, I'm going to talk about what penetration testing really is all about. Why do we do it? Who needs it? And why is it important? So let me talk about the vulnerability assessment first. It's basically the assessment of your entire network system to determine if it has vulnerabilities or weaknesses that need to be resolved or patched up. It can be performed by one person, could be your IT administrator, or a team of researchers or security engineers. This type of assessment is often known as a flaw or weakness that could be exploited by an outsider attacker or compromised by internal personnel. So it's both ways, right? So we need to protect our network systems from outside attacks as well as internal weaknesses as well. And it is necessary because many organizations and companies and health facilities, for example, are required to meet certain compliance standards. They are bound by regulatory standards, rules and regulations that they must meet, such as the HIPAA rules, and we'll talk about those a little later as well. But this assessment is important. So let's get to the definition of the penetration testing in specific. A penetration test is simply a method of evaluating the security of a computer system or network by simulating an attack from a malicious source. And this malicious source can be created by the network administrator or the developer, for example, or the programmer internally, and then use the malicious software to attack the system and just to see whether the system responds, whether there's weaknesses in the system or not. So the process basically involves an active analysis of the system for any potential vulnerabilities that may result from poor or improper system configuration, known and or unknown hardware or software flaws, or any operational weaknesses for that matter in the process or technical countermeasures. So different ways that we can measure the weakness of the system. The basic intent of a penetration test is to determine feasibility of an attack and the amount of business impact of a successful exploit if discovered. And the last part is important because if your system is attacked, for example, you could lose millions and millions of dollars in terms of sale, in terms of breach, in terms of data loss and whatnot. So penetration testing is very important. Let's take a look at some of the security testing methods. So every organization uses different types of methods to validate the level of security on its network resources. There are organizations who barely test their network for security threats. On the other hand, there are organizations that test rigorously the network and to make sure that the network is up to the standards. So, for example, the penetration testing, also known as sometimes the ethical hacking, right, so to speak. Although, in my opinion, ethical hacking is, well, just hacking and creating malicious software or using a certain program like Python or Java or any other different programs to create these scripts just to test the system. So, whether you're testing for accuracy or whether you're conducting a thorough test, these are just different types of tests. For this course, we strictly confine ourselves to the penetration testing using Python. So who needs penetration testing? Well, obviously large organizations such as banks, financial institutions, government organizations, online vendors, or any organization processing and storing private data, such as passwords, subscriber lists, e-commerce data, transactions. The PCI Data Standards Section 11.3 requires organizations to perform application and penetration tests at least once a year. So this is not something that we just do for the fun of it, it's actually required and also safeguards our network system. So for example, the health regulations such as the HIPAA Security Rules Section 8 of the Admin Safeguards also requires security process audits, periodic vulnerability analysis, and penetration testing as well. So again, we need to make sure that we are bound by the legal and regulatory and compliance matters. 
why do we really need them, right? I did talk about this briefly, but really, computer-related crime is on the rise, right? We see hackers all the time hacking system. They can hack large banks. They can steal a lot of millions of dollars and so on, right? So this is something on the rise. And as technology progresses and grows exponentially, threat increases at the same time. So find hold now before somebody else does. So we need to be on top of things, right? And report problems to management immediately, whether it's internal threat or external threat. Verify secure configurations. Do testing and monitoring of your servers, of your network constantly. Make sure you have those alerts turned on. Security training for network staff sometimes overlooked but equally important we must train our existing staff and employees so that they can understand some of these security breaches discover gaps in compliance and of course testing new technology so these are all the reasons of why we need penetration testing so penetration testing viewpoints well there are a couple of school of thoughts there's external and internal Penetration testing can be performed from the viewpoint of an external attacker or a malicious employee. So as a programmer, developer, or the network administrator, right, you need to create a program such as Python. We are going to create code or use Kali Linux, for example, and then use that system to either check our network, existing network internally or from an external perspective. It could be either overt or covert and penetration testing can also be performed with or without knowledge of the IT department of the company being tested. So you could just shoot out a malicious code and program or do a port scan for example just to make sure everything is current. So depending upon your own scenario requirements and guidelines and rules and regulations of the company you would conduct the penetration tests. So, in conclusion, we talked about what a penetration test is, right? Different methods, such as internal audits, ethical hacking, penetration testing. Who needs penetration testing? For that matter, in my opinion, everyone needs penetration testing, whether you have a small network or you have a large size enterprise-wide network. As long as you're keeping private data, you need to make sure that your network is up to the standards. And we also talked about why we need penetration testing and of course some schools of thought or some viewpoints as to when and how to conduct these tests so in this brief lesson i just wanted to talk about and give you an idea of what penetration test is all about and different tools that we can use such as kali linux python we can create all these codes and run these tests on our network so i hope this helps Take a look at some of these definitions and let's move to the next lesson.